So, welcome back everyone. Uh, I've been waiting to make this video for quite a while now. Uh, it's finally the day that I'm going to do it because the championship for the widow birds here has finished. So yeah, I'm going to do a lot of explaining in this video. Uh, it's probably going to be quite a long video as well. But yeah, this video is going to be a closer look at Mr. 611 here. That is him. So yeah, um, we were approached by, or at least my dad was approached by some potential people that wanted to buy uh, 611. One guy from Dubai and one from Saudi Arabia. Um, but yeah, we don't know if we're gonna do it yet or not, or the amount or stuff. Um, we'll see, we'll see what we do. But yeah, that's uh, 611 right there. So I, I am gonna go over, uh, get you guys a closer look. I'm gonna grab him in a second here and take him outside. But yeah, I'm gonna give you guys a closer look in detail at 611. Um, he is, I would say he's on the same level as the two time ace bird that we have in the breeding loft. Um, the infertile one, obviously. Uh, because he was ace, ace pigeon two times and then 611 here uh, was very close two times and then this year he is going to be. So I would say that's on the same level basically. And then the old ace, two time ace pigeon is from 2010 and he is from 2020. So that would mean that 611 is the best bird that we've had in 10 years time. So yeah, I'm going to grab him now. So yeah, uh, I have him here now. Actually using the front camera, so the quality might be a little bit worse. But yeah, this is a... Take a closer look at his eye. We've got him in the sun here, so it should be pretty decent lighting. Let's open up the wing. He's, I would say he's on the skinny side at the moment. He just did come out of the flying season. So, still a very nice looking bird, even though it's a little bit on the skinny side. But I do like, uh, especially for sprinting birds, to be a little bit on the skinny side. That's his wing right there. Actually got pretty big wings. Uh, he isn't the biggest bird, but he's by no means small. This wing is a little bit nicer. The tips aren't as uh, scuffed. Tail's also got a pretty big tail on him. And I do like the look of his eye quite a lot. He's got that same eye as the grizzle does. He is a 2020 bird, so that means he's four years old now. The 2020, oops. The gray rings are 2020. Oops. But yeah, very, very good looking bird. Yeah, now we're gonna take a closer look at the results he flew since he was a young bird. I did uh, look it up, so yeah, we're gonna put him back. So yeah, let's uh, take a look at his results. So... For the birds that we've had quite a while, we have this little map and uh, this is the pedigree. And then we put the result sheet and stuff in a little binder. But yeah, um, so yeah, as you can see, 2020, that's uh, his complete ring number right there. And we do have a little thing, so, but we didn't actually uh, use that in this case. 
So this would be widower and this would be on nest. And this would be without anything, but we haven't used it uh, in this ordeal here. So yeah, this is the date, obviously 2020. Uh, this is gonna be 100 kilometers. So this entire section is 100 kilometers. And then this is 200. Obviously 611 is mainly or solely only 200 kilometers. Uh, except like maybe a training flight or something. Um, so yeah. So this is 2020. Obviously you start off uh, flying 100k, which the little star means he didn't place, I think. Oops. This wind here is very, very nice. Has been very nice this year. But yeah, uh, the first time he flew 200k, he did miss. It's out of 2000 birds. That is, this is all as a young bird, obviously. All the 2020 dates is as a young bird. And then uh, he went on to actually placed 86 here. I believe um, young bird is his worst year. But yeah, he did uh, out of the seven races, he placed six times. And then uh, these are actually weak, midweek, um, midweek 100k races, which he also did well. I guess he didn't miss a single time from this time period. But yeah, uh, like you can see here, he doesn't like the 100k nearly as much. So yeah, that's his young bird here. I will be calculating all the coefficients, uh, probably after I explain all the placings here. And then moving on to 2021. As you can tell, he did race a lot in 2020 as a young bird. And then 2021. Here the first two races again, 100k, yeah, he doesn't like that. Moving on to 200, uh, he gets off a good start with 37th. This is actually one of his earliest placings uh, to date still. 7th out of 1300. And then here he gets 48th place. Um, these are obviously the amount of birds, uh, in case you hadn't figured that out by now. But yeah, he actually missed once here. Uh, on 200 as a yearling which is uh he doesn't do that a whole lot and then these are his uh remaining every week it's basically every week uh that he placed so yeah moving on here actually did quite a lot of races as a yearling as well must have been good weather that that year but yeah, uh, again, he only missed one time as a as a yearling. And then here in 2022, he's actually two years old. He always misses the first two times of 100. And then the first race, 200, he gets, he gets going here. Another eighth place. Then for some reason, he, he missed once here again. Basically also the fourth, the fourth race. Um, yeah. Basically the same as a, as a yearling. This was also the fourth race, so I guess it gets kind of a deload then. But yeah, also a, a good year that was last year. And then these are still written down. We still have to uh, type them digitally on the computer. Um, but yeah, this year there were a lot of cancelled races, um, which I will get into probably at the end of this video as well. So yeah, here you can see he actually didn't miss on 100k for once. And then he starts off very, very strong with a 7th place out of 1170. Then a 1st place out of 461. This is his worst placing this year. 30, uh, 63rd out of 402. And he gets another 2nd place out of 266. And then this was last weekend, he gets 22nd out of... Uh, that amount so yeah uh, very good very good results here uh, I'm gonna calculate the coefficient I will calculate the coefficient here for every year and then probably write it down here or something so I just calculated the coefficients here so this is for as a young bird he actually did have quite a good coefficient as well 
this is over a five race uh, period so you just uh, in the like below the 10 percent I guess and then as a yearling uh, I thought uh, it was a little bit worse than this but it's actually quite good as well just because uh, as a yearling there's way more birds than as an old bird so we got uh, like 6.1 percent whatever um, and then as this is over six races as well this is six races as well this is five um, this is just over eight like eight and a half and then obviously the best um, coefficient by far is this year which is 3.6 percent or something so yeah uh, overall a very very good bird here these are insane results over a four-year period like I don't even think most of the birds that were better here in these years uh, have done it for four years on end that's really basically un unheard of to do it for that long but yeah um, so yeah with this coefficient uh, we are gonna win uh, in the club for sure and then we also are gonna win we would we would have won on in the federation as well but um he only did five races and in the federation there's two birds uh that did six races and like the way it works that it goes in front of it um like it's supposed supposedly more important for that ranking even though their coefficient is way 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 worse probably not even in the top 15 percent and this guy's in top three but yeah, out of all the birds that flew five times, which is like most of them, uh, we are first. Um, so yeah, a lot of people also asked me to show the pedigree of the bird of 611 here. This is his little card. Um, so yeah, this is the ownership card right there. And then this is pedigree we just uh, my dad made this template for my grandfather years and years ago, so we just continued using this one. But yeah, a lot of guys asked me what, what bloodline is he, what bloodline is he, so he's actually mainly our own bloodline uh, from going way, way back. So yeah, let's get into it here. This is 611, obviously. This is his father, which we still have. Uh, we raised him, is it? 2019 bird so yeah he did also race pretty good and then this is a hand that we also raised also decent uh, these are basically the same uh, obviously nothing close to 611's performance but still decent birds and then this bird here uh, 246 uh, was actually our best young bird in 2018 in terms of 2018 was basically our best best year uh, for young birds but yeah this was our best young bird in terms of amount of placings i don't he never really flew like a first place or anything which two older birds did that year but yeah so anyways uh, i wasn't interrupted by my grandmother here she's over in there but yeah um where were we we just went over this bird here that's also our own as i said we bred it in 2018 was our best in terms of amount of prizes we actually lost him as an old bird uh in 2020 i believe and then uh, this guy here is i don't personally know this hen uh, as it was bred in 2016 but yeah we only started my grandfather passed away in 2017, so I don't really know much before that. And then this is where it starts to get interesting. Uh, we obviously bred this bird in 2019. Uh, this is also ours. This, uh, this is a hen. Uh, I think we still have it. It's a very good hen. Um, in terms of breeding. And then this is where it's not our bloodline. This is from Hüscher de Volder, which is um a local fans here in our club uh, i think we we've bought this bird or we got it gifted i'm not sure but yeah uh, so the grandparents three of the grandparents are our strain 
and then one isn't as you can see because we don't know anything here um, and then this is actually quite interesting as well in 2017 when we just started these were the worst birds that we had on the loft by far the worst and um, maybe even one or two prizes in between of the both of them but yeah then they bred our best young birds two a year later so you know the more you know and then yeah these are some old strains from my grandfather uh, he did write it down but not the the greatest so i think they're ours um because when he used to get another bird he used to write the name next to it which there weren't so i think these are ours and then this is a grizzle this is actually quite funny this is that big grizzle that's in one of the grizzle videos uh, it's, a, it's a 12 bird it's not the big grizzle that we have left this one is the big grizzle's father um did breed very well as well but then this bird is this might be the best breeding hen here that we've had in a very very long time every single good bird that we have can get rooted back to this hen right here 620 from 09 uh, yeah the big grizzle is a son of this pair this exact pair to be honest and then yeah we still have him um, and then 833 is also I believe like a grandson of of this hen and then 611 is obviously a great grandson at this point uh, and then we have like one or two more birds that also come out of this hen that fly very well so I think this is like the main, the best main breeding bird that we have uh, in our strain. We obviously don't have it anymore. It died in it died in 2017, but you know this this strain would be like the main strain for us, and then obviously the two time ace bird strain as well, uh, which is kind of fading away. This 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 line is still very strong uh, in our in terms of bloodline the two time ace pigeon we tend to like lose them all the time when they're either yearlings or old birds which is very unfortunate because they're also very good birds but yeah this this we still have a lot of these um which we might focus a little bit more on but yeah uh this is the pedigree i went over the results we got a closer look at 611 himself as nest box uh, like i said uh if yeah, the two dudes that wanted to buy uh, were interested in it, so um, they should also see this video. But if you're wondering where or what bloodline he is, he's mainly from ours, as I said. Except this uh, grand grandmother, I guess, is not ours. But these three are, as you can see. Um, yeah, I think they date all the way back to our old strain. Or either... Yeah, I'm not... Obviously, I'm, I don't know what's in front of these um, because that's going back way back. But yeah, my grandfather, uh, his name was Jules Ramenans. And then, uh, like the last 10 years or something, when they were still uh, racing, my grandfather uh, had this one friend, his basically brother in law, because he's married to my grandmother's uh, sister. They uh, went and flew together on this these lofts here uh, under the same name, Ramnas Lembrechts. His name was Chef Lembrechts, so the brother-in-law. Basically my grandfather's best friend for his, for his entire life. Uh, unfortunately also passed away in 2018, I believe. Or yeah, late 2018. Uh, about one and a half years after my grandfather. But yeah, that he also had very good birds, and then they started flying together. They had they had very good birds, so it might be one of his um, going back, but I'm I'm not sure. Um, yeah, uh, I think this is basically gonna be the video. I know I know it was a lot of talking, but actually, when you're pigeon racing, it's a lot of paperwork as well. Uh, if you want to keep up with everything, so you know. So yeah, anyways guys, I hope you enjoy, enjoyed today's video. Um, yeah, like I said, 611 is the best bird we've had in 10 years. Uh, deserves a video like this. So yeah, this is actually the trophy 
from the two time ace pigeon and then another very good bird that we had probably the best one even better than 611 and the two time but yeah we're gonna get a um, one for 611 as well to fit in there we're probably gonna get like a picture made of him like when you zoom in in his eye like the standard picture with the results next to it probably gonna get that made as well um so yeah stay tuned for that and as always leave a like comment subscribe and have a good day